Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, let's talk about the latest scandal rocking the royal world. And trust me, this one's a doozy. We're talking about none other than Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Drama herself, and a certain pop star who's got everybody's hearts going in one direction, Harry Styles. Now, I know what you're thinking, but come on, what could these two possibly have in common? Well, let me tell you, apparently a whole lot more than we ever imagined, and it all came to light in the most unexpected way. Picture this. Harry Styles, on stage, in front of thousands of screaming fans, he's doing his thing, being his charming self, when suddenly, he drops a bombshell that's got the whole world talking. Our boy Harry, in what I can only describe as a moment of temporary insanity, hints at a late-night phone call he received from none other than Meghan Markle herself. Now, let's pause for a moment and let that sink in. Meghan Markle, wife of Prince Harry, mother of two, former actress, and perpetual thorn in the royal family's side, allegedly making late-night calls to Harry Styles. I mean, come on, you can't make this stuff up. But wait, it gets better, or worse, depending on how you look at it, because according to my sources, and trust me, these sources are more reliable than a Swiss watch, this wasn't just your average, hey, how's it going? Kind of call. Oh no, my friends. This call was reportedly steamy enough to make a romance novelist blush. Now, I know what you're thinking, but surely you're exaggerating. Megan wouldn't do something like that, and normally, I'd agree with you, but these are not normal times, folks. We're living in a world where Meghan Markle has gone from cable TV actress to royal duchess to whatever she is now, and apparently, in this brave new world, late-night phone calls to pop stars are fair game. But let's break this down, shall we? Because there's a lot to unpack here. First off, let's talk about the timing. Megan's been trying to rebuild her image after, well, let's face it, a series of PR disasters that would make even the most seasoned publicist break out in a cold sweat. We're talking about the Oprah interview, the Netflix documentary, the Spotify podcast debacle. It's been one hit after another, and just when you think she might be turning things around, he am. Harry Styles drops this bombshell. Now, I've been in this game a long time, folks. I've seen scandals come and go. But this, this is something else entirely. Because it's not just about a potentially inappropriate phone call. It's about what this reveals about Meghan's character. Think about it. Here's a woman who's constantly talking about her privacy, about how the media intrudes on her life, about how she just wants to live a normal life with her family. And yet, if these allegations are true, she's out here making late-night calls to one of the biggest pop stars on the planet. It's like she's playing checkers while the rest of us are playing 4D chess. But it gets worse, folks, because according to my sources, this wasn't just a friendly chat. Oh no, apparently, Meghan was laying it on thicker than clotted cream at a royal tea party. We're talking suggestive comments, we're talking flirty banter, we're talking the kind of conversation that would make Prince Harry's ears burn redder than his hair. Now, let's be clear here. I'm not saying anything definitely happened between Meghan and Harry Styles. I'm just reporting what my sources are telling me. But you've got to admit, it doesn't look good, does it? I mean, what kind of married woman makes those kinds of calls to another man? And not just any man, but Harry freaking Styles. But here's where it gets really interesting, because it's not just about the call itself. It's about what this reveals about Meghan's whole modus operandi. Think about it. This is a woman who's been accused time and time again of using people to climb the social ladder. From her ex-husband to Prince Harry, there's always been this whisper that Meghan's more interested in what people can do for her than in the people themselves. And now we've got this situation with Harry Styles. Is it just a coincidence that she's allegedly reaching out to one of the biggest stars in the world right when her own star seems to be fading? I mean, come on. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to connect these dots. But let's talk about the fallout for a minute. Because make no mistake, this is going to have consequences big ones. First off, there's Prince Harry. Poor, naive, puppet Prince Harry. Can you imagine what he must be feeling right now?
Here's a guy who's given up everything for Meghan, his family, his royal status, his home country. He stood by her through thick and thin, defended her against all critics. And how does she repay him? By allegedly making late-night phone calls to Harry Styles. Talk about a slap in the face. Then there's the royal family. Now, I know they're probably sitting in Buckingham Palace right now, sipping their tea and thinking, I told you so. But make no mistake, this is a nightmare for them too. Because like it or not, Meghan is still associated with the royal brand, and every time she makes headlines like this, it reflects badly on the whole institution. And let's not forget about Meghan herself. I mean, can her reputation take another hit like this? She's already seen as manipulative, as a social climber, as someone who's more interested in fame than in actually making a difference. And now this. It's like she's determined to prove all her critics right. But here's the thing that really gets me. Throughout all of this, Meghan has been suspiciously silent. No statements, no denials, nothing. And in the world of PR, silence is often seen as an admission of guilt. I mean, if these allegations weren't true, wouldn't she be out there vehemently denying them? Wouldn't she be threatening legal action against Harry Styles for spreading lies, but instead crickets? Now, I know some of you out there are probably thinking, but come on, maybe she's just taking the high road. Maybe she doesn't want to dignify these rumors with a response. And to that, I say, wake up and smell the royal tea. This is Meghan Markle we're talking about. When has she ever shied away from defending herself? When has she ever missed an opportunity to play the victim? No, my friends, I think the reason for Meghan's silence is much simpler. She's panicking. She knows she's been caught out, and she's desperately trying to figure out how to spin this. But here's the thing. I don't think there's any spinning this one. This isn't just another tabloid rumor. This is Harry Styles, one of the biggest stars on the planet, hinting at inappropriate behavior from the Duchess of Sussex. You can't just brush that under the royal rug. So, what happens now? Well, if I were a betting man, and let's face it, in this line of work, you kind of have to be. I'd say we're about to see Megan go into full damage control mode. We'll probably get a carefully worded statement, maybe an interview with a friendly journalist, possibly even a public appearance with Prince Harry to show that everything's just fine in the Sussex household. But here's the thing. I don't think it's going to work this time, because this isn't just another scandal. This is a peek behind the curtain, a glimpse at the real Meghan Markle. And let me tell you, Folks, it's not a pretty sight. This is a woman who's built her entire brand on being a victim, on being misunderstood, on being unfairly targeted by the media and the royal family. But if these allegations are true, it paints a very different picture. It shows us a Meghan who's calculating, who's manipulative, who's willing to risk her marriage and her reputation for, what? A flirty phone call with a pop star. And that's the real tragedy here, because whatever you think of Meghan Markle, there's no denying that she had an opportunity to do some real good in the world. She had a platform, she had influence, she had the attention of millions of people. And what has she done with it? She's turned it into a circus, a never-ending drama with herself as the star. But maybe that's been the plan all along. Maybe for Meghan, it's never been about making the difference or changing the world. Maybe it's always just been about being famous, about being talked about, about being the center of attention. And if that's the case, well, mission accomplished, I guess. So where do we go from here? Well, if I know Megan, and after years of covering her antics, I think I have a pretty good idea. She's not going to take this lying down. She's going to fight back. She's going to try to spin this. She's going to do everything in her power to make herself the victim once again. But here's the thing. I think people are starting to see through the act. I think they're starting to realize that maybe, just maybe, all those rumors about Meghan weren't so far off the mark after all. And once that happens, once people start to see the real Meghan Markle, well, let's just say it's not going to be pretty. So buckle up, folks, because this ride is far from over. We're about to see Meghan Markle like we've never seen her before, exposed, desperate, and potentially facing the end of her carefully constructed public image. And trust me, you're not going to want to miss a second of it. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comment and let me know.
Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.